Hello, Mac Warriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Merc Tag. We are playing Mac Warrior 5, and look at this guy. We have a King Crab, and I want to use that thing today. So, I would say we're going to seek some trouble somewhere in a 100 rated space where we can also find more assault mechs. The other guys that we have here are in repair currently, but I think this is just minor things that we have to do. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. We're going to quickly do that. There we go. And we will sell the Griffin. That thing was. Very expensive, that's what it is. 3 million sea bills, holy crap. Alrighty, uh, Incubus can also go. We completely stripped these guys down. Uh, I just wanted to get the equipment from them. There's a 140XL, double cooling. This is all in a sphere stuff. It's a pretty good stinger, actually. But I don't want it. I'm gonna sell it completely. And then the Cyclops also gonna get some repairs. So, let us go ahead and play the next mission with the King Crab. So, the question is, where do we want to go? We want to get something high skull, high, high tier, actually. I'm always saying skull because of, hmm, um, because of rogue tech. Should we go for this? It's a defense mission 80. I think I'm gonna do that. Let's also play these priority missions to get some extra rewards, I would say. Uh, it is nothing bad. It's actually quite good to get some bonuses here. Our King Crab currently is running three LRMs, 115, 210s, and two... Uh, not ultra, but AC-10s. But that needs to go bigger. That needs to go definitely bigger. How many hard points do we have, by the way? Ah, yeah, only two ballistics. That's a bit of a problem. But okay. I actually wanted to make something like a uh, an ultra autocannon build happen on something like a King Crab. Just four ultra autocannon fives. Let's go. But yeah, this guy is still in upgrade time. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I still want to play it. So we're going to go for this. I will go for all the salvage. This is gonna be fun. It's a tier 80 mission. And I will probably drop the Banshee. I wasn't against the hatchets, but it's kinda hard to get something done with it. Let's go ahead and take the King Crab instead. And we are at 350 out of 360, which is fine. I like these guys here. And this is such a big boy. I love it. Six days. And then we can finally get in here. This is our first 100 ton mech. And I wanna get many more many more ideally i have maybe a steiner scout lands at some point just all the atlases or maybe just all the king crabs i'm a big fan of that mech Alrighty, i'm gonna expect the worst we're gonna defend this here which is should be an easy mission also this is the first test run we're gonna check out how much ammo we actually have how much we need and oh how this is going Alrighty. It's a pretty cool biome with all the sulfur here. Look at the red water. This looks beautiful. I don't have an RTX card. I wonder how it looks with like all the maximum settings. Sadly, I had to tune it down as well because while recording and playing at the same time, my my mediocre rig is, uh, you know, getting a bit of trouble. But yeah, the graphic card's prices are falling right now, so maybe I'm gonna snatch one nice 3, uh, 3080 Ti or something. At some point. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of a cheapskate. Spending about 12 to 1500 bucks for just a graphics card is just too much for me, I guess. It's not that I couldn't technically afford it, it's just that I don't want to spend it. Alright, there's a dropship. Let's go. Got some tanks coming in. I see a scorpion. I see a bulldog. Bulldogs are nasty as hell. Another scorpion. Okie dokie. And then, of course, a Lance of Max. Yes, sir. So, what's up here? By the way. Oh, something is broken. Something is broken. I actually updated a bunch of my mods, and as a result, um, my, uh, what's it called? Uh, pilot TTA. TTA rules AI, that's it. Should give us the option to give, uh, more intricate lance commands, which didn't happen for this guy now. Bam, 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 bam. This is good. This is all the hot. Yeah, run away, man. Run away. Oh, yeah, King Crab, baby. So the problem is the heat. At the very least, on this biome, there's one guy down. Uh huh. Missiles? Will they do something? Anything? They will. 
And down he goes. Uh huh. Get that Igor thing or Karnov actually down. Let's get the missiles going. And we need to cool as well. There we go, we finally got him. There's stuff happening on the other side of the battlefield. Let's check it out. I think I saw a mech there. And some vehicles. Yep, there they are. That is a blackjack. 600 meters and we can attack a quick draw. The other thing is a... A large laser thing. I have no idea what exactly, but okay. There he comes. Oh yeah. Run away, you better. <laughs> oh, this is powerful. I like the rate of fire, by the way. Oh, twist rate was over. Get some more missiles going. Come on, we can do that. I'm just gonna stay here. And down he goes. This is insane. I love the rate of fire. By the way, this is a Shrek laser carrier. Interesting. Can we, without destroying the base, destroy the Shrek? No idea. We should have an angle now. Where is he? There he is. Let's go. And... The problem is the twist angle. It's always the twist angle. This is a thumper. Uh-huh. Gotta take that guy out very quickly. He's gonna deal so much damage to the base and maybe also to us. Yellow jacket, huh? It's a Gauss? Yeah, there it is. They bring the big VTOLs. Uh oh. Um, alright, let's stay. Let's stay on one target first and then on the other. There we go. That is important. Yellow jackets are really nasty. Fast moving flyers with decent armor and good weapons. They usually bring one big weapon. Okay. A Warhammer. Love the mission! It's really good! It's really good! Um, our range is not the best. Can... I mean, we can shoot now. It's not dealing maximum damage. Where are you going, huh? Man, leading my shots into the sky with a ballistic and that weapon convergence is really bad. But... It's gonna be good enough, I guess. And the missiles will do the job just fine. Yeah, get him. I'm gonna leave it for my friends to finish that guy. Am I? We got some missiles going. There we go. Warhammer is definitely gonna be the next target. Bam, bam. PPC scrambling my targeting is kind of nasty actually. But I just try to hold it. We're getting hot again. But in general, this is fine. It's perfect range. But this is also perfect heat. In terms of overheating, let's try to get some more headshots. But the glass is breaking. Yeah, I updated again. I updated a bunch of mods. And now we actually have cockpit glass working properly. I can hold down my fire button on my auto cannons without heat problems. Tag. Uh huh. And an LRM. Get him down. So, we're actually getting some trouble damage wise. A little bit. Let's move here first. Base is down at 64%. We also gotta be fast about that. There was a tank here on the flank. A flank tank. Just a Telos LRM. Come on. Don't want to go too hard. There we go. I think we're gonna take the vehicles out first. Like this guy here. That's a Shrek PPC carrier. Oh, you can bet that I'm gonna go for that guy. And now the other arm as well. Alright, we got that guy. This is a demolisher. Alrighty. It's pretty far away, but we can pepper him with the missiles already. Let's go and do that. This king crab is beautiful, guys. I'm a big fan of it. Stand and shoot it, I guess. For high accuracy. By the way, if you move, the enemies have a harder time. They just 
harder time hitting you. They just get a lower hit chance altogether. So when there is a when there is a calculation, there's a bit of a it's a bit of a drawback for them if you are in motion and they are targeting you. How do we get the Telos LRM carrier there? Hmm. Going in and killing it, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> All right, here it is. It's behind the wall, sadly. Let's see what our missiles can do. That's what they can do. Perfect. All right, blackjack, and then I think there was a javelin, and then there was summon some other mech on the other flank. But there will be one more drop. One more drop. There it is. Hey, Jack. What about you? I also do like that we are reasonably fast with our assault mech. We are not crawling over the battlefield. This is good speed. I'm gonna hold this here. Yet again. I'm not afraid. These AC2s are nasty, but that's that's all. Got some heat. That's it. Okay. So, in this relatively hot biome, we are kind of holding our ground quite nicely. We still have 900 shots for our autocannon and we have uh, about 2,000 missiles. Still good enough. I like the combo, by the way. This mid-range build really wrecks. We don't need to throw ourselves into the, the greatest brawls and we can deal damage very early on and prevent the enemies from even closing in. Okay. This Whitworth, it's a Whitworth, not a Javelin, okay. I was wondering why he is taking so much damage without dying. Anyway, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt and then uh, four enemies. Let's go. There it is. He seems to be stuck somewhere in the outskirts. So, uh, 1300 meters and distance is not really closing unless we are getting close. But it's gonna be alright. And I really wonder what the next mission is gonna be after that. Hmm. New target, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, a thousand meters. Our alarms are 420 base. Double that and you're at 840 and that's our maximum distance. And I... I kind of don't like it. I wish the ranges were a bit longer. As in MechWarrior Online distance. But I guess for the purpose of balance is fine. Oh, there's more. Hello. Hello, T-Bolt. What about your friend? Okay. Got some damage in. The other guy seems to be completely stuck. Oh, I'm also completely stuck. Completely screwed my gyro over while running into my friend. Yeah, it seems like we have to hunt these guys down before we can actually continue the mission. Oh, this is hard. This is hard to traverse. Bam, 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 bam. I like that. That's pretty cool. We can trace our shots quite nicely. With the higher rate of fire here. So good. I love it. There's also a guy right next to me. Where did he go? Also, don't run into me! You're destroying my crab! Can we? Ah, uh, not quite, not quite. I need to cool a bit. Man, this king crab is actually sturdy, but it can't take all the damage. Okay, sir, you got it. Get him down. Come on, quickly. I got headshot. My cockpit is breached. And I'm not a fan of it. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> you can destroy these guys. I'm out of here. Both are nice and open. Come on. Come on! One more missile barrage. That should be it. Need to cool. Need to cool. My friends are really bad at finishing these Thunderbolts. Ah! There's one. Come on, we just need to get the other. I mean, I could chain fire this. This is not chain fire. This is. 
Can we do it? There we go. So now back to base because these enemies might attack the base directly. Power up. The champion. All right, so it is a champion as well as probably two other mechs because they just brought a drop ship down and we have to fight three more enemies. One of them being the champ. Let's check it out. Man, we need hardened armor on this. Nah, we don't need hardened armor. We need more weapons to kill faster. That's the stalker. That's two stalkers. Okay. I'll step all over him. All right, we're gonna go for the stalker first. Actually, champions are rather easy to kill. Let's go for the champion. I'm not gonna fire yet. I wait for my Cyclops to engage this guy. Attract the fire and then we go in. There are the missiles. These are mine. Another barrage of missiles. Good. More missiles. More. Just more. I could also swap to another mech, possibly. But I think... It's gonna be fine if we take it slow like this, and that's the stalker coming around the corner. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll be playing it like this here. I don't want to lose anything. We have pretty good equipment in our mech. Oh, go away. Go away. I don't like you. Ah, that was not good. There he is again. He's really gunning for me. Leave me alone. All right, guys, can you attract fire from the stalker, please? It would be very much appreciated. Go for that guy. Ah, the other one is coming in as well. All right, all right, all right. Um, gotta deal with them somehow. I'm gonna try to outrun the stalker, which is right left of me. You know, left right of me. I'm gonna take that, and now I'm turning around. I'm gonna face the champion. Pow, kapow, kapow. Get wrecked. Ah, I got claws, I'm gonna use them. No, never mind. Here's the other stalker. Oh god, we're gonna lose things. What's wrong with you guys? Come on. Get that stalker down now. And as you can see, we have a bit of a problem with our cockpit. This is a big drawback of the King Crab. Uh, I'm gonna take cover. Cover, cover, cover. Ooh, boy. Let's not lose anything, guys. At the same time, we are cold. I should probably... Uh, he's facing me again, is he? He wants to. How about a taste of this? He wants to face me. He's coming around again. All right. Pulling back. I mean, uh, I mean, he's very damaged already. I think this is where we go in and hopefully don't die. There we go. Ooh, that's stalker. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Today, but more importantly, that was close. We almost lost something, as in our life, because our cockpit is really breached here. Um, but everything is still where it is supposed to be. We still have our auto cannons. We still have all of the missiles. I need to make this make better. I think we can actually squeeze out more performance, even more than it had already. Love the auto cannons, by the way. They are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okie dokie. Let's go in again. We're gonna repair this and then we're gonna play the next part of this mission. So, two million sea bills. A Centurion. I don't know, I like this PPC, I gotta say. It's a tier four. It's pretty good. Another LRM Telos. Tier four might give us some goodies. Ammo. I don't need to pick ammo, I think I can buy ammo. Yeah, there's nothing that we need in terms of uh, picks here. So we're gonna pick the money picks. Four more. Let's take these ER large lasers. Yeah, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Cool. 300,000 <laughs> in damages. But hey, we actually learned some extra evasiveness today on Captain McGill with the King Crab. Because we were attacked quite a lot. Good. Transmission number two. Chemjet gun 185mm. I think that's an AC20, correct? 
DK Cluster, LRM10, SRM2, and a six shooter, and SRM6. Okay, so the false flag. Let's go in. Let's also take a look at these guys. Huh? I mean, he was shielding with the left side quite a lot. Alright. The Marauder. Absorbed some. The Battle Master. And then, of course, our King Crab. Tier 4 auto cannons. We can make them tier 5. 15 days. It's fine. Absolutely. Absolutely doable. Uh, the Centurion here is... Uh, wait. Um... Do we have something like that? Or like three Locusts? Is there gonna be any Cantina mission that requires three Centurions? I think I'm gonna put it in here. Have another sand. Why not? Alrighty. Good. Let's go ahead and take the next mission. Gotta go up here. It's an assassination contract. I love it. Attack and defend as well at 52. We might want to play that, but not right now. Alrighty. Assassination. How would we make the mech better? Our King Crab is XL. So Clan XL would obviously obviously be a thing. And the Clan LRMs. I mean, let's be real. We need them. And Ultra Auto Cannon Tans instead of Auto Cannon Tans, I guess. Alright, so everything is up and running. We will be playing the assassination against House Kurita. 30 salvage. I wonder if one airstrike is good here. I like them in assassination missions. Especially when the last enemy is down. Oh wait, that's the raid. When you destroy the last objective on a raid, there is usually a drop coming down. And then you can diminish the enemy forces quite a lot. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, is it? Um, standard LRM ammo is down to 16%. Why? I thought we had more. You still have a lot of dead fire, sure, but... Standard is full. Everything is full. Alright, I think it's a visual bug then. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay. Uh, where was I going with my ramblings? Oh yeah, uh, the dropship. Uh, when the last... I guess the last objective is down on a raid... Not necessarily on the assassination. It's usually a dropship coming down and then you can land an airstrike on that thing right away. Just get damaged on. Airstrike support is granted. I love that. So I now just need to remember that I have it. Able to call in airstrikes on this mission, Commander. This is wrong, Rihanna. It's not yet loaded. That's the problem. I am able to do it, but not yet. But anyway, let's go in. We have two targets. The first one is gonna be like a false flag, like somebody that is not my main target, and the second one is definitely the target, I guess. Because it is a pre written mission. And there was, will always be the trigger of the first base. We cannot really bypass it. And why would they put the the target in a pre-written mission into the first base when there's a second base, clearly? I want to go to the left side. I'm showing nothing on scopes that can be identified as Who would have thought that, Rihanna? We'll have to move on to the next nav point. Yeah, let's go to the next nav point. Yet again, with a bit of luck, we can salvage something like an Atlas here. I wouldn't say no to another Cyclops, I guess. Still have a Thumper piece that I want to check out. So, something big that can run the big ballistics would be pretty good. My Atlas would be ideal, I guess. How many slots is a Thumper, even? Is it 10 or is it 12? Hmm. I don't know. We still need to check out the base because there might be some... Uh, Dudes uh, in the garrison. Like this guy here. Right, tank first. Oh, yes. Oh, never mind. He took care of it. Thank you very much, Whitworth. Can shoot now. And I want to quickly point out that the heat management here. Whoa. Go away. But the heat management here is way better. I cannot really hit it. Nope. Alright, stop moving. I'm gonna go and uh, dive down again. This Whitworth is really nasty. It's also a Phoenix Hawk. 
Oh no. Ah, was there friendly fire? Possibly. Also, where did the flyer go? Can't. Might be down. Great. Man, what an intense fight right away. Here we go. We have a wasp in front of us. Oh, he's getting obliterated. Oh, yes. Love it. Is this better for you guys? I know you cannot answer me right now, but... Hmm, maybe you can let me know in the comment section. In dark missions like these. Okay, we got that guy. This I'll see here. So yeah, in a biome like this, the heat management is way better. Maybe... This kind of vision? Predator vision? I don't know. Sorry for the whole back and forth, but I need to figure out myself here. Let's go with regular vision for the moment. Um, how would we approach the base? The base is in the canyon, and this is kind of a high ground situation that we have here, right? So we probably want to get that. The tank is going crazy. Oh god. Uh-huh. There we go. Got some turrets as well. Go down. Thank you. These turrets take a lot of damage. Anyway, we are on our way to glory and victory. Let's keep pushing, let's keep going. Let's keep shooting down the helicopters while we can. And this turret again. All right, we hit him. There's a PPC somewhere. Oh. There we go. Yeah, this helicopter is not gonna do anything. And if we play it smart here, we're gonna draw them out one by one, staying on the high ground. Let's see if that's working. Another one. Get missiles. Good job, Gator. Very well done. A Victor with a Gauss rifle. Mm. It is still a Victor, which is not really that interesting to me, honestly. Get him some missiles to soften him up while he's moving towards the front line. Maybe she! It's the K variant. With an AC5 and a PPC. Oh, and a tank in front of me. And another tank in front of me. Warhammer as well. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna use our missiles for some indirect damage early on. Harassa. Really sturdy, these tanks. Play it smart. It's not coward cowardice. It's smart warfare. It will be probably another drop coming later. Alrighty. I think this is the time out where we go in. On the hammer. I want that side to also gone. Come on, let's stay on target. Pulling back, but staying on it. We also get support fire from our Cyclops friend. That's great to see. Uh-huh, another tank has actually skirmished in. Down he goes. I mean, we have the high ground. It's basically over, Anakin. Yeah, let's, let's push them. Let's actually use this now. Alpha 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. These guys will not have a good time down there. Oh, we used that so wisely. We used that so wisely. Yeah. Look at this panther. Completely lagged thanks to... Through the bombs. But there is in fact a dropship coming to intercept us. Yeah, let's go and get us out of here. I'm gonna move over to Rihanna already, but I think we also want to defend ourselves against the ship. Yes, also, also build good salvage. Alright, there it goes. Where would we fight? Where would we choose the position of battle here? It's also just a light mech. I mean, it is a panther. These are pretty good light mechs. Should I try to get high ground here? That's the question. What else are they bringing? 
Uh, something like a beagle probe would be nice now. Okay, fire starter. It's not a panther. It's another light mech. Is that all you got? Give me line of sight. Come on. Gotta be very careful with my friendly fire, though. I'm gonna get out of here. I wanna stay. This king crab is amazing. Guys, double AC-10. The fast firing ones. I wonder what the other AC-10s would uh, feel like. The ones with higher impact but lower rate of fire. This is fun. I'm also very responsive to flyers and tanks as a result. We can just direct our damage where we want it to be. And that very quickly. Cool. Also, we didn't really take damage here. And yet again... I'm not really keen on getting that fire starter. I think I'm gonna ignore it for the time being. It's just not a thing that I want to salvage anyway. So let's get our big, bad, shiny metal butt into our dropship and go home and maybe take a Victor with us and maybe take a Warhammer with us. We'll see about that. The important thing is that we made it happen. Okay. Great. I love it. So. What, what, what is the next big thing to do? I think we're gonna finish this priority mission now. I say... I'm gonna scoot over to a planet that has some more 100 skull missions. I wanna play high skull duels, I wanna play high skull... Recoveries? No, not recoveries. Raids? Something like that. These things are bad. I'll take the PPC. See, yet again. Or... Possible scrapping. This LRM is reasonable as well. And we're gonna take all the mechs for value, I guess. AC2 for some value. Alright. There we go. We gotta level up on energy on the Battlemaster. I mean, on Captain Bliss running the Battlemaster. Super cool. The missile proficiency is not going that high. Interesting. And when we take a look at numbers here, I dealt a thousand. That's 420, which is really good. Direct response weapons are so good because they can just instantly shoot and get direct value. Like autocannons, like lasers, EPCs to some extent. Uh, these lock-on weapons like missiles, while they shred, you gotta get lock-ons first. You gotta actually hit your stuff with, you know, enemies getting back to cover. Your missiles will travel to terrain and stuff like that. The Battlemaster is also alright, I would say. It is not bad, but it's alright. Having the medium lasers which need to get into range. And in this mission, we didn't really get into range. But yeah, anyway, we got these things. Two million seabills on top of that. We are space rich again. Cool. So, guys, looking at the time, I am sadly not able to record any further for today. So you have to make do with only two missions. But I will get into Mech 5 recording uh, a little bit more now. And, you know, catching up on schedules so you can get more episodes soon. Uh, that was the first one, again. Uh, with a little bit of a break beforehand. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, you can become a channel member here on YouTube. There's a button beneath the video stage. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.